Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough dinner rolls. I've had this recipe on my blog for quite a while, but I was searching the other day whenever I was trying to share a whole bunch of Thanksgiving recipes for my sourdough dinner roll recipe here on YouTube and realized that I've never made one here. So it was high time. Anytime I make something sourdough, I like to ferment it overnight. This just allows the grains to ferment and it breaks down things in the grains that make them less digestible, so it makes it healthier. It also gives the dough in this instance that first rise that makes the end result a little bit fluffier and more delicious. So last night I combined in my stand mixer a half a cup of sourdough starter, a quarter cup of sugar. Now you could also use honey. You're just going to need a little bit more flour whenever you're needing to make sure that the dough isn't very liquidy, but honey will totally work. Three quarter cups of warm water, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of melted butter, and two to two and a half cups of unbleached all purpose flour. Just enough until it's all coming together. Again, if you use honey, you might need a little bit more. Knead the dough until it is stretchy, then add it to a grease bowl and then top it with a tea towel or some plastic wrap and let it sit eight to 24 hours. If you're going to let it ferment longer, you might want to use plastic wrap so the top doesn't get really dry, or a beeswax wrap would also work. I just let mine sit out overnight, and now it's morning when I'm working on this, so it didn't get very dry. Next, I'm going to grease this nine by 13 dish. Just gonna use a bit of coconut oil. Now I'm just going to divide the dough into eight equal parts add it to my grease baking dish and allow it to rise until doubled about two hours. Now whenever I put things on top of my oven with the standing pilot light, it does tend to rise a little bit more quickly. All right, next I'm just going to brush the tops of them with some melted butter. You can also use oil and then allow them to rise until doubled. It should take about two hours. I'm gonna put mine on my stove and it has a standing pilot light that will make it rise a little bit more quickly. After they are doubled, I'm going to bake them for 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Super, super simple, so delicious, perfect for Thanksgiving. If you have not yet grabbed my free ebook, I have my from scratch Thanksgiving recipes in one place for free. You can print them out. If you want some of those festive recipes that can carry you through all through these colder months, I do have my from scratch recipes all in one place. It's my Thanksgiving from scratch ebook with sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole, stuffing, cranberry sauce. These are all things that I like to make throughout the fall and winter because they're just so good and they're on sale and they're available. So cranberries, I continue to make turkey and sourdough stuffing, not just for one day. I like it all through this whole season. So you can get that book at bit.ly slash Thanksgiving from scratch. Also, if this is your first time encountering a sourdough recipe, make sure to check out my sourdough playlist. I have the explanation on why sourdough, how to make your own starter, and then so many recipes. I don't even know what I'm up to by now, but a lot. So check it out and dip your toe into this world of sourdough. It's super fun, it's so tasty and healthy. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.